Hey guys, welcome to the shop and uh, I guess you can see what I'm up to. I'm uh, grinding the little Logan Chuck. If you see my other video on uh, rust removal, I was uh, taking the rust off uh, the whole chuck inside and out and uh, came out pretty nice. But the jaws were extremely bell mouthed and somebody in the past has had a crash whether they hit it with a boring tool or were trying to turn a hardened piece of steel and when they cut into it it flipped out of the out of the chuck when it jammed it into the bit and uh, raised up burrs and took out chunks well their burrs were almost uh, 20 25 thou high it was kinda hard to measure with the bell mouthing so the truck the chuck was almost useless so now I'm pretty close uh, I measured it before and uh, I was 5 thou out and we'll do another pass or two just a spring cut and then uh, I'll show you how I fix the jaws in place and we'll take a measurement it's going to get noisy so uh, turn down your sound because I'm not adjusting the volume on this uh, video Quite nice uh, compared to what they were. I mean, there's no comparison. Hopefully, I'll have a usable chuck, even if it's out of tower. So, it's a three jaw chuck. If you need uh, accuracy, of course, you're going to go with a four jaw or a call it. Okay, take you in here, you'll see on the jaws here, it's hot glue. I uh, initially took some uh, uh, acetal plastic, put it in, clamped down on the, with the jaws, glued it in place, and then I'm able to pull this plastic out because it's uh, fairly dense, but it's... Uh, it has a bit of gift, so you can pull it out after. Now we'll take your measurement. Got this old uh, Acme tool here. Or, uh, we'll uh, see what I get with that. I don't have any drill rod, so we'll see what we get. Uh, 
just under a thou out. So maybe eight tenths out. So that's pretty good for a pencil grinder. <laughs> Now initially, um, I started with this style bit, or a grinding wheel, mounted wheel, but because the face is so wide, uh, the pressure was quite high, and um, because it's an intermittent cut, I guess it started to wobble, and it got a bit of a step in here, so I was getting a really choppy finish. That's another reason why I had to take off so much. But uh, it's an experiment. This uh, narrower, 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 can't even speak. Sorry, I had an accident yesterday. My head's a little, little screwed up right now. Um, just don't fall off your bike uh, and you'll be okay. <laughs> now, this little wheel here, it's narrow and uh, it uh, creates less pressure, I guess, so you're not getting so much uh, flex in the shaft. So the finish came out really well. The, um, I may make a new insert for here or a new key. Probably a new key. It would be easier, obviously because it's a little bit worn here. So if I make a tapered key, it'll uh, lock in better. I should have a good working chuck. So it can be done with a pencil grinder. Uh, I don't think it's recommended, but uh, it can be done. So that's it for tonight, guys. And uh, you know the drill. Don't play safe. Cheers.